There you go. Frimpon bought in versus Gabriel Chiridako. Frimpon bought in versus Kwekubako. Okay. You should read Kwekubako's rejoinder. Because of lack of time, we will not be able to explore all of it. But the reason why I put uh, uh, my senior Gabi and Kwekubako together is because Frimpon Boatze's complaints about them relates to a company called Heritage. You, you remember that. He said some heritage company. Now, the point I'm going to make here is this. Gabi Ochidaku is a private lawyer, okay? Kweku Baku is a private journalist. Kweku Baku is not an official of government. He doesn't work for government. He, does, he holds absolutely no government appointment. Gabi Ochidaku is a private lawyer. He holds no government appointment, absolutely. Well, he can lobby for you to get a government appointment, but somehow he himself doesn't take one. So, cool. He can lobby for you. So, if you want a government appointment, don't, don't, don't hesitate to call him. He's a nice guy. Okay. And he will tell you if it won't work. That's the thing. That's why people like Gabi. You go to Gabi with something, he will tell you that this, this one, I cannot even go and tell the president. You go to him, he say, Gabi, can you do it? He said, what, this? I should show this to Ken. Hey. He will say, no. I, I can't do it. That's the thing you get with Gabi. He will tell you that this one won't work. This one, let me try. This one may work. So, yes, you want to uh, lobby for position. He can help you. But he himself, somehow, he doesn't take some. All right. Now, both of them complained about a company called Heritage. And Fripo Apuatin was quick to jump to some gymnastics and uh, go and tell President uh, that he said he reported President to Gabi and all of that. Now, this is the story. The Heritage company that they are talking about, I need Godfrey Dami's photograph. Please get it very quickly. Get Godfrey, and let me know when you get it. The Heritage company that they are talking about is a company that sued government for government uh, seizing its excavators or something like that. They sued government for 15 million United States dollars, yeah? That's heritage company. The point I'm making for Frimpon Boateng is that Gabi Ochoi Dako is a private lawyer. He doesn't hold, implement, or execute government policy. No. He does his work as a private lawyer. He has powerful lobbying skills. He's an influential member of the party. But he's essentially a private lawyer, you see? So what Gabi Ochiraku does with heritage is not the government position. I think Frimpon Boateng should know that. What Kweku Baku says about heritage is not the government of Ghana's position. So rushing to president to go and report that Gabi Ochiraku is representing heritage. President is a private lawyer himself. He should determine for uh, uh, another private lawyer who he represents. President cannot make that determination. That's why in his response, Gabi said Frimpon Boateng should go to court. Now, the company is heritage. What is government's view of the heritage company? That's what we need to understand. Now, whilst Gabi Ochidaku is representing heritage and Kweku Baku is writing about heritage, the government's lawyer, the attorney general, Godfrey Dame, goes to court in Kumase, whereas heritage have won a $20, $15 million judgment debt for the excavators that government was going to pay them. Mr. Dame goes to court to overturn it and says, we don't owe heritage any money. That is the official position of government. I thought Frimpon Boatin will know that. Gabi Ochiridaku is not the Minister of Justice. He doesn't exhume government policy. No, he's doing his private work. Yes, he's Gabi Ochiridaku. Yes, he's related to the president. Yes, he has lobbying skills. Yes, he's a nice guy. Yes, he can help you. But he doesn't execute government policy in law. The person who executes government policy in law is the learned attorney general and the minister of justice. And the learned Godfrey Dami had gone to court to stop that heritage company from getting the 15 million. Give me the graphic story. Let's look at it quickly and then, and then we'll get the sports on. Okay, so I'll take you through this story. Uh, oh, let's, let's see, the, let's see the, the, the first page again. Yeah. 15.3 million judgment debt overturned. Has Frimpon Boatin seen this story? Has he looked at it? I think you should find it because this is the government's official position on heritage. Godfrey Dami went to court and said that for the season of excavators that Frimpon Watson did, he has done nothing wrong. We, Ghana, do not owe heritage any money. He went to court to set it aside. Did Frimpon Watson call him to congratulate him or something? Has Frimpon Watson seen this story at all? Because if he has seen this story, then whatever Gabi Ochidako did for heritage, whatever Kweku Bako did for heritage, is inconsequential to the government's position. And I'm holding here the ruling of the court. This is the judgment of the court. Frimpon Watson should take the judge and send it to the yellow uh, people. They may not even understand it, but it's okay. They will, find, they will be able to do something with it. But he should send this to them. He should send this to them that as part of the Galamse fight, the government of Ghana 
went to court against a company that had obtained, obtained $15 million judgment debt to be paid to the company. Godfrey Diebo Adami went to court to overturn it on the instructions of the President of the Republic. What is Fimbo Boateng talking about? Haven't they seen the story? It was H.E. Akufuado who told his Attorney General that you need to go to Pumas and overturn this thing. And what happened? 15.3 million judgment debt overturned. Godfrey Dami, Attorney General and Minister of Justice. Okay, let's see the story. The Kumasi High Court has quashed its own ruling, which slapped the government with a 15.3 million judgment debt for the unlawful seizure of properties belonging to a mining firm, Heritage Imperial Company. In its, largest, in its latest ruling, the court, presided over by Justice Samuel D. Wu, held that it, was, it had inherent jurisdiction to set aside its own judgment as it lacked jurisdiction to entertain the legal action that led to the initial ruling. This follows an application by the Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Mr. Godfrey Diebo Adami, which sought an order to set aside the court's earlier ruling as now and void. On February, 20, on, February, on February 2019, Heritage Imperial Company initiated legal action against the government for what it claimed was unlawful invasion and seizure of its properties by the Interministerial Tax Force on Illegal Mining, a tax force set up by the government to tackle the menace of illegal mining. Fimpo Boati, where is he? Call him on the phone. Tell him to come and read this. Call my father, Professor Fimpo Boati, to come and read this. His committee, in the, Godfrey Dami went to court for his committee. He didn't even know about it. That he's not interested. He's interested in sending this to the yellow people so that they can talk something. He's interested in sending some uh, uh, hurriedly prepared report to yellow people at uh, Bermuda so they can say something about it because they know how to use reports like this that are badly written. They know how to do it because they can insult everybody. So he sends it to them. He doesn't know that there was a, a court action in Kumasi that defended his position. Professor Frimpo Boati called him and tell him that he needs to apologize because he didn't know that there was a court action that defended his position. He should go and apologize to the chief of staff. He should go and apologize to the president. He should go and apologize to the MPP people that he was unaware that there was a legal action taken by the president and the attorney general to protect the work that he was doing. Fimpo Boati is unaware of this. So he's chasing Gabi Daku and Kweku Baku because he wants to throw names into the report that will give the yellow journalist something to do. That's what he did. He wants to throw the name of Kweku Baku and Gabi Daku, thinking he's done something significant. Whatever Kweku Baku and Gabi Daku were doing, talking to him about, they were complaining about how he had seized the equipment of Imperial Heritage. In, uh, Heritage Imperial. Heritage Imperial Company. That's what Kweku Bako and Gabriel Shida, Gabriel Shida is their lawyer, Kweku Bako is their friend, and they are all complaining to Frimpo why have you seized the equipment? They have genuine licenses. They haven't done any legal. I'm saying, why have you seized it? Frimpo Boatin seized it. The people went to court and obtained a 15 million, 15.3 million judgment debt. Godfrey Dami traveled to Kumasi and said, what is happening here, Mr. Judge? My Lord, this is, cannot be entertained. Made legal arguments, and the court agreed with him and set aside the thing. Has Frimpo Boatin heard it? On February 2019, it should have been in February, in February 2019, Heritage Imperial Company initiated a legal action against the government for what it claimed was unlawful invasion and seizure of its properties by the Interministerial Tax Force on Illegal Mining, a tax force set up by the government to tackle the menace of illegal mining. Who, who is Interministerial Tax Force on Illegal Mining? It is Frimpo Boati. He is... Interministerial Task Force, Godfrey Dami went to court in defense of the work that the internal ministerial thing was doing. That, this does not find any expression in Frimpo Boateng's report. A report written in 2021. This occurred in 2019. This has no expression in Professor Frimpo Boateng's report. A matter, this is a major matter of the whole Galamsey fight. Because the whole Galamsey thing was, you are seizing excavators, it's illegal. So somebody decides to take you to court. And there's the court ruling. This forms a template. It's a basis, an authority, for any lawyer then to go and defend the work of the Interministerial Tax Force on Illegal Mining. Frimpo Boati must apologize. As part of his reliefs, the company prayed the court to declare as unlawful the invasion of the mining site and the seizure of its excavators and equipment. It also wanted an order directed at the state to release its machinery 
equipment and money seized by the tax force from its concession or in the alternative, the cost of the machinery and equipment to be assessed and the value to be paid to it. In May this year, Justice Diewo awarded 15.3 million judgment debt against the government and ordered it to pay Heritage Imperial 600,000 Ghana cities. Dissatisfied with the ruling, the Attorney General challenged the ruling at the same court, seeking an order to set aside the ruling. It was the case of the Attorney General that the commencement of the action by the company without regard to the mandatory statutory stipulations of the State Proceedings Act 1998, Act 555, was unlawful. Again, he argued that the order for the payment of $15.3 million to the mining company was unlawful and without basis. He further averred that the company failed to give a concise statement of the nature of the claim it was seeking in its legal action. The Attorney General contended that Heritage Imperial, in its rate, did not claim $15.3 million against the state. The relief of $15.3 granted by the court was a material and specific one, clear notice of which had not had clear notice of which had to be given on the rates of summons and statement of claim, Mr. Dami argued. The court, he said, did not have jurisdiction to grant the relief of 15.3 million against the state. Justice Diewu, in his latest ruling, held that the court had inher inherent jurisdiction to set aside his own judgment when the same was plainly entered without jurisdiction or is offensive to any provisions of the laws of Ghana. The judge then overturned the judgment that awarded Heritage Limited the sum of 15 million. This where is uh, my friend Sami Jinfi? No, let's, I've, I've not, I'm not done. I'm not done. Let me, let me, I'm not done. Put, put Godfrey Dami's uh, story on. I'll come to do the one later on. All right. Now, this is the most important story. The most important, how the media has missed it, I don't, I don't know. But we miss things sometimes. We all do. So. This is really the most important part of the whole Galamse fight. Professor Frimpong, what is your vet his mind to it? If Godfrey Dami was able to go to court over 10, then a lot of things can happen in court. So Frimpong, what is should be going to court more? But well, he's no longer there. But this is, I mean, they didn't see this. And those people who are shouting, MPP government is against for Galamse and Sami J V C A D this and that. And has he seen this? That it was the MPP Attorney General who went to court to save government from a $15.3 million that some people were going to share? Just that? Some people are going to share just that? Mm. Okay.